everybody, and uh, welcome back to the Indie Film Cafe. This is our uh, monthly haul, uh, bi monthly haul, or whatever, you know. Yeah, we're by I mean, now. You know, right. We're, we're by monthly haul. By. Yeah. Uh, well, that, 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 that fits these days. We could be Yeah, it fits these days. You know, it's okay. It's cool to be by. Um, but anyway, we're going to be talking about the uh, movies that we got. <clears throat> uh past couple months or whatever so yep <clears throat> there you go uh first off um this is a, a very tower. paul will hate this one um john you probably might not like it either but it's a uh very uh well let's tell people how, how we do this it's, it's a total of 10 each oh, yeah. but it's right. five 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 yes it's gonna right? be 10 each not 20 each we normally do 20 each but this year uh, this month we decided knock it down to 10 so we're gonna do five, five, and five. So my that's first 15. five. That's well, fifteen, and then fifteen. There's what? what? He's messing five, with five, me. and You're five is, with me. is fifteen. That's not ten. No, but all of us will have five. Then all of us will have five again. That's ten each. Okay. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, my first one up is one I like. I said uh, I don't know if you guys like, but it's Eat, Pray, Love. Oh God! You know. uh, not in a thousand years would I ever watch that. No, no. 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 It's a it's myself. a movie I got for a dollar at the uh, re store. Um, wow, and you still pay too much. Yeah, yep. probably. But anyway, uh, Julia Roberts. I know you guys probably aren't fans. But, I'd rather um, pull my brains out through my nostrils than have to sit through that. Uh, another movie uh, directed by somebody who I'm pretty sure, Paul. I know you're a fan of, but I don't know if you like this movie or not. It is Strictly Ballroom? Um, Baz Luhrmann's movie yeah uh, that was i'm okay. not a baz lerman fan frankly but i've heard good things about that particular film yeah and i like moulin rouge and i like i oh, love romeo and juliet you i think know. he's way way too much you know he was at that time of like mtv editing and mtv you know like everything was shot really quickly and yeah. he still does that like i kind of like romeo plus juliet but that yeah. aside uh, yeah. It's funny. Whenever I hear somebody talk about Romeo and Juliet, I go like, oh, the original. They go, no, the one with Leo. It's like, oh, does anybody know the original one exists? I, ha I have that on Criterion. Apparently that's the yeah, only I have the one original. that's... Franco Zeffirelli, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, what is it? Uh, Olivia Hussey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have that. Um, that apparently, awesome. apparently it is a bad movie because they, they were actually like 16 when they shot that stuff, you know, or whatever. Yeah, it's Europe, and, and they got their parents' permission. I know, but like, for I, that's kind of creepy for me to. Why? See why? Like, why you got to rat them out? Why you got to throw them under the bus? Because they they threw themselves under the bus. They actually don't like it, you know. Olivia Hussey and the uh, guy who played uh, Romeo, they kind of feel gross about that movie being out there. Like they're sixteen, yeah. you know, kind as of, adults. Um, I know. I think that's a lot of grandstanding because, frankly, nobody remembers that film if it exists. Well, I mean, I I got it from Criterion because I was afraid it was going to go away. You know, like it was going to go out of print because actually a pretty darn good film. I mean, that's why Criterion has it. Right. Uh, next, it should be on Criterion, in my opinion, but um, you guys might not believe so. But Dead Poet Society. I actually really, really liked this movie years ago when I first originally uh, saw it. It's, uh, it's, 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 I'm not a. I don't like Robin Williams, but that's okay. I love Robin Williams. Um, I like his serious acting, just just like Adam Sandler. I think Robin Williams makes great villains. Yeah. You know, One Hour Photo and Insomnia. I mean, it's just he is a great villain. I just don't. I don't find him funny. Um. Next is a Disney movie. Um. It's a Disney movie from back in the day. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, back back uh -oh. in the day, and it is called The Boatniks. Oh, when uh, Disney was good. Of it. I don't know. I've never. I I don't know much about it. It looks kind of cheesy. It's got Don Amici and uh, Robert Morris, Stephanie Powers. Yeah, probably the I mean, '60s. I'm guessing. Uh, 19... Did you say the Boatniks? Yeah, the Boatniks. It's kind of like the Beatniks, but the Boat. Wow, that's interesting. I never heard of it. Yeah, I saw it on uh, at Restore, and I was like, Disney, and this is yeah. I'm this pretty is probably... sure I saw it as a kid, probably on like the wonderful Norman world Fell. of Disney. Norman fell. Wow. I mean, it's uh, uh, it looks interesting. I mean, I don't know. Kind Must of have no, the it's... theaters and sank without a trace. 
Uh, no, yeah. I, it it was when I was a kid. So I mean, yeah. it probably was when I was like ten years old. Is when that thing came out. Yeah, it so, was like yeah. a '60s movie, you know. But yeah. it's just one nobody ever talks about. It might be good. It might be bad. That might be the reason why nobody talks about it is because it's not not as good. Um, this next one stars Joan Plowright, uh, Misha Barton, and Igrid Urib, and it's called Frankie and Hayes. Um, I don't know or Hazel, Hazel. I don't know you much about it either. A bunch of people in a title I've never heard of. Well, you you've heard of Misha B Barton, right? Oh, like Misha that. Barton looks okay. like a teenage movie. Um, and it's directed by Joe Beth Williams. So really, that's interesting. Yeah, I didn't know she even directed anything. Um, no idea. But uh, <laughs> that yeah. says a lot about the directing. And executive produced by Barbara Streisand. Oh, yeah. weirdly oh, enough. Um, but yeah, it, are you uh, sure that movie wasn't made this year? Babs, two thousand and two. So wow. I don't know. Anyway, that is my first five. So All right, I guess so Paula. Me, God, yep, that right. went fast. Yeah, so first five for me, first one is one we've already talked about and already done for Indie Film Cafe, and it's a movie I was just talking to some friends about and recommending because it's really, really good, and that is Blue Ruin. Yep. I don't know we if you've did seen that. this. We did that for Indie Nord. Film Cafe. It's really a good film. For an indie film, uh, it hits everything perfectly, The The writing is really good the acting is really really good it's one of those things that shows you what you can do in an end as an independent filmmaker as long as you have a really good script and um, shot in virginia shot in virginia so good stuff it's a pretty good movie and then the next two are going to be tv shows that i got season one and season two of and that is house of cards House of Cards. And it's the uh, He's American been canceled. Version. You can't buy those. Care. He's been I canceled. I still like his performance, especially in this. He's fantastic. I actually <laughs> watched the first couple episodes of that and I actually really liked it. I just Great. I, I, because I thought You should have was... said trigger. You should have said trigger warning, Paul. Trigger yeah. warning. Um, I, I thought trigger it was me. You know. Uh I thought it was supposed to uh be a uh, all about him. You know, and then when I when I watch the show and it's all about everybody, not just him. Well, you know? and I the like thing that. is, you know, <laughs> as great as he is, Robin Wright is matches him scene for scene. Oh, I love her. So, Princess yeah. Buttercup. I'm sorry. She's always been Princess this. Buttercup to me. So, I don't think yeah. they should have canned him. I think they just should have still worked with him and just kind of phased him out, if anything. But to yeah. just. Oh, yeah. He died off screen, you know. But I hope I didn't spoil anything. <laughs> it's an excellent series. So yeah. I, I know he left the show and I, I don't now like, the I, British I don't... version. The original version is also supposed to be excellent. I haven't seen it yet, but I'd like to. Thumbs up, Jonathan. <laughs> so uh number four for me. Uh as you know, I've been uh collecting these, and that's season two of Game of Thrones. Woo! Got that one. And a movie we talked about earlier when we did our uh, Blue Hunter uh, Blu-ray haul, uh, and then Mr. Moody got the Blu-ray version. I got the DVD version of Tin Roof. Nice. Tin Roof. Signed. Yay. yay. So, yay. All kinds of fun stuff there with friends. And, uh, yeah, it should be fun. should be lots of fun. Oh, you haven't watched it yet either? Not yet. I've been wanting to. It's just it's. I've got like so we many other movies. We should do it. We should do it as a group. Yeah, definitely. At some point, um, uh, it might have to be like a Patreon only because I don't, I don't. Well, no, because I'd want it out there, you know, so people can see it. So we'll we'll figure a uh, place to put it because yeah, I don't I mean, know if I want to do it for yeah. Indie Film Cafe or anything, and because we rate things, and um, I you know, and she's a really close personal friend of ours. I don't. Right. I know no, she, I she, if anybody, she would be a little nicer. I mean, it. we we kind of shot down Sharks of the Corn. No, we did do Sharks of the Corn, though, for uh, yeah. Shark Attack Sunday. We didn't do it for, uh, uh, but see, that was that was like, that's a little bit different where we're not like sort of rating the movie. Not rating you know I mean? it, but we did talk about yeah, it. Yeah, but we... <laughs> yeah, but we we had fun talking about it. And we did. We had Madeline on that show, so yep. she really yep. likes those kind of things. So there you go. We're gonna we're gonna bring back Shark Attack Sunday. It's just it's in the works. It's just scheduling everybody. You know, 
and everything. So uh, was that your first five? That's the first five. All right, John. Like, wow, our, our time is going by quickly here. Yes. Um, okay, so this stack has movies that are on the list uh, for that I had bootlegs that I needed to, when physical copies came out, I had to buy them, uh, just like uh, Foes and some other ones. This first one here, Moody did make a comment to me, and, and I, I think I would have pushed him downstairs if we were standing next to each other and if he said this to me. So the first film here is what I consider to be Flash Gordon is awesome, and this film is right next to it, and that is Megaforce. <laughs> oh yeah. dear! No, I, I still, I watched it. I had to do it for Hollywood Boulevard podcast. It's such a cheesy I, crap movie. I it's know fun. it's it's. Come on, it, it's Ace. There has never been a superhero like Ace Hunter. It says it right in, right there, Thankfully. right on the box. I mean, uh, come on, deeds not words. And it's also got it's Barry Boswick and Michael Beck. I mean, how could and and the bald. I chick liked Michael from Star Beck. Trek, the motion picture. I'm a huge it, Michael Beck fan. From it's the, directed the by Hal Neham. Who, you know, it's just like this is <laughs> this is by far one of the greatest bad movies ever made. I mean, this thing is so it's awesome. I saw the cheese theater. whiz. I know that's. I, yeah, I, I saw the theater that. too. He's flying. He's flying. So the, uh, the next movie that Alfred has us watch because Alfred had us watching that one is a uh, Blue Thunder. So I think he's keeping with some yeah, kind of weird it's cheesy theme. Too. No, um, that that's 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 more legit. That's that, more that's, legit, that's an, but it's still a little that's cheesy. an actual legit movie. So I, I'm excited I, to see it though. I I love this film, and for a very long time, I wanted Sam J. Jones to be in a movie because of Flash Gordon. But thanks to Ted One and Two, that ruined it for me. Uh -huh. This would be the second one. So I would want Barry Boswick, and I would want to bring up Megaforce all the time. For, forget Rocky Horror Picture Show. Screw that. I want this. What well, was? Well, who's in Stone oh yeah are, are you are you reaching it i no, i would it. rather watch that than than rocky horror that's for sure who is it oh yeah i who i think is... so okay i keep mixing him up with brian bosworth uh completely no, he's different. not a, he's not a football player i know or ex-football player um <clears throat> this is another one that falls on that list and that is message from space oh i've got that that's a fun movie <laughs> yeah that's with the dancing starfish yeah it's got the uh the glowing uh uh the, i think they're called something like the the monogi seeds or something like that but they're just acorns so silly that are, that are glowing it's magnificent seven it came out after star wars but it, and it's got uh the you know uh, sunny chiba is in it sunny chiba and vic morrow is in it luckily he's not around a helicopter um but uh it's it's really Jesus. good is this trigger warning trigger oh. warning i'm <laughs> so sorry uh but this is a, this is an awesome flag this is this because is, it's all the like all the space stuff is you could tell it's all model work so it's really cool um and now D jonathan at disney i have disney i this is a childhood and I'm, this is a double feature uh, uh i was in love with this film as a kid absolutely in love with that and it's the double feature of escape to witch mountain oh, and nice. return from witch mountain nice i used to I, love the witch mountain movie. i, I kind of like the first one i thought the first one was pretty good the second one's not nearly as good mm -hmm. uh but it, it's but i figured since there's two of them here and i found this a good will i saw escape to witch mountain in the theater probably like 20 times my mom would be like you want to go see that movie again yeah. okay good let's go drop you off for two hours i could be without right. you and I, she found his coat because, like, I wanted to be him. I'm like, I want to be that kid. I want to be that witch. So she found the coat. And, of course, I was absolutely – this. I think she was my first crush. Um, you know, what's her face? Uh, Kim Richards. Uh, so yeah. Um, Isn't and she then, on, like, one of the – she one of the, the millionaire uh, housewives or whatever? Of, yeah, of she's on – yeah, where yeah. she's all strung out and everything. But she was also in Tough Turf where she looks amazing. She was oh, also uh, in Tough Turf. If, I haven't watched that in years. She Tough was in Turf. Assault on Precinct Thirteen, like the original. She's the ice cream yeah. girl. Yeah. yeah, which was I, I one vanilla. of the sh most shocking scenes in like history of of movies. Because I yeah. didn't know you're they talking about the original the, one. The original. So, spoiler alert to anyone who hasn't seen the original Assault on Precinct Thirteen. But there's a scene where she gets shot. That just 
I literally blew me away because I mm -hmm. was like, I did not expect that, you know, even from John Carpenter, I was not expecting that, you know. Or I, I was more shocked that they wasted the ice cream. I mean, at least uh -huh. get the ice cream, you know, what a waste of, of good ice cream. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I'm, and this is, this is when Disney was good. This is when, you know, Disney had good movies. At least the sequel, when Disney course, tried. It tried, yeah. But the sequel does have Christopher Lee and Biddy Davis. So there is that. Nice. Um, this is another one of those films on that list. Had it as a bootleg. It finally came out. Had a download of it. And then also had the Mystery Science Theater. But it's not the same. Um, and that's Time of the Apes. Oh, God. Yeah. Apes. That's funny. Love Time of the Apes. It was originally a uh, like a series that was on, you know, for like the Japanese television and they condensed mm -hmm. it into a 90 minute movie. So it makes no sense whatsoever. But it's um, I picked this up. I finally realized it was out and um, picked it up when the new Planet of the Apes movie. God, came watching that without the Mystery Science Theater stuff. It's rough. it is rough. Yeah, it it, it is. But it's, <laughs> I, I wanted it in its original format. So. Um, and then the last one here for my first five is the Action Collection. This is also Goodwill. I could not pass this up. Oh, it yeah. has the base, the base, the base, the base two like OTS charged one. on the borderline, hidden agenda, uh, detention, the Punisher, Dolph Lundgren, diplomatic siege, and extreme justice. Okay. I think I have that somewhere. Um, uh, maybe I put it away. Eight already. manly movies. Manly movies. <laughs> I mean, cheesy manly movies. They're more like children's, oh, yeah. children, little boy movies. You know. <laughs> John Ford's all upset. What's wrong with you? I'm just saying it's more like a, uh, a movie that you fantasy. watch when when 13 year olds watch television. You know, they're like, I want to be like Dolph Lundgren. You know. And stuff yeah. like that. Nobody, nobody but yet goes... you don't say anything about a grown adult getting Disney films. <laughs> no, because no. you know, when you look back at your childhood, you're still watching uh, you know, I I mean the 13 year old me would probably actually 13 year old me probably would not have liked the boat next. Um <laughs> like I would have probably been bored. No, but 10 year old um, me would because I'd be going to the theaters and seeing that as a double feature, or like I said, watching that on like the wonderful world of Disney. Right. So for me, I do know that movie and I would watch it. You know, um, there were a whole bunch of films like that that came out around that time. You know, there were all the 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 teens and then the adults were always like the bumbling buffoons that would fall off boats and of stuff course. like that. And the yeah, teens that's would certainly not the case now. It's the opposite. So, yeah. So, but yeah, that's that's my first five. All right. So my next first five, my next five, my last five um, is uh one of them is a DVD that has like just a bunch of music. It's uh, done by the group Him. Um, I discovered him through um, uh, Haggard movie Haggard and through CKY and and Bam Margera and all that group or whatever. I like their music. They're very goth, you know, kind of emo kind of stuff or whatever. Is that the, the band from uh, uh, Vampires of Zanzibar? Mm, I don't know if they're in that or not. Mike? I did hear that they changed their name to they them. <laughs> uh, by the way, Paul, how's that going? How's the vampires? Almost like done. Going? Almost done. All right, to be done tonight, right? And sent to me. That's the plan. Okay. All right. So then that and it's got music videos and live <clears throat> concerts. If I want to watch whatever I want to watch, so um, I like their music videos. I've seen them on YouTube, so I'm like, all right, I might as well have a whole thing of them for a buck, you know. Another one for a buck that I got is Bells of Innocence starring Chuck Norris and uh, Mike Norris. So I guess the two brothers are there. Um, I don't know. Did Aaron Norris work on this as well? No, I think but that's his son, isn't it? Aaron is his brother. Yeah, I thought that maybe his brother had worked on it with him. They could have a whole Norris family. You May know? that be fine. Uh, yeah. Actually, it's part of Norris <laughs> Filmworks and Media World. You know, um, Probably get some, get some good conservative conservatism think, in there it's funny because chuck is in the front right and he's listed at the front but mike's in the back but it, in the back it says mike norris and chuck norris at the end so and chuck norris so oh so he's in the movie for five minutes 
maybe um but but it says action but legend he's the chuck name. norris that's why he's up front uh chuck norris co-stars with his son mike in this gripping tale of so it says he co-stars so i don't know um now this i got because of uh red letter media had done something with it or whatever and I was like, I got to see if it's on eBay. And it was like eBay for $4 or something. So I was like, sure, let me get it. And it is bog. You know, it, I, I have it. It's it's right back yeah, here. It is, it is it too. boring as hell, but it's an yeah. awesome film at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we might do it for Indie Film Cafe at some point. I don't know. Um, unless Paul does it first, uh, which I don't think he will. Probably not. I I It's not one of the ones I'm excited about but i did want to own it you know um it, it's one and i felt exactly the same way like i feel like i need to own bog but just be prepared it's a lot of people in boats it's a lot of people walking in the like in the swamp it's a lot of like trailers and then you see the hand of the monster you know like you right. really don't get like good until near the end like good shots of it. it so it's Cheap. Yep. yeah it's very 70s so um, it, i i do like boats i mean i'm a big boat guy um <laughs> My God, we found something you like, boats. Oh no, I mean I've talked about talked which is why you like the boat nicks. You like the right, boat nicks. Right. No, too. I love I love movies about boats, like people on ships or boats, pirates, all that stuff. Like if you're on the sea, that's why I get really mad when most of the movies say like they it looks like they're on the sea, but then they end up just being more on land because it's ah, cheaper, I guess. So yeah, you really like movies with semen in it. Ah <laughs> oh boo. Ah. I was hoping. How about, how about movies? I mean, you like pirates. What about butt pirates? <laughs> All right. Anyways, speaking, <laughs> moving speaking, on. Speaking of which, the next oh. film that I have is uh, a David Dakota film <laughs> called <laughs> Voodoo Academy. What a segue! <laughs> five 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 five's the Zulu Academy. Voodoo Academy. Yeah. Well, it's actually before all of the the thirteen thirteens or, 13, or whatever um stuff or and all of that so it's even before brotherhood uh they did voodoo academy i think they did even a voodoo academy too but it was not nearly nearly I whatever swear to god i'm gonna do the bigfoot island on a new film uh, good bring oh, it bring bigfoot. it on um so god that shark one was awful <laughs> uh yeah 90210 shark attack terrible um so uh, Paul, uh J dustin hubbard and i did this for a quick review thursday um once and so I had I had to, I didn't buy it by that time. I just watched it on Tubi, but I was like, I want to buy it because it's got commentary and stuff, and it's got an extended director's cut featuring twenty three additional minutes. Don't ask me. Oh what my need god! Twenty three <laughs> additional minutes of um, people walking. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> bitching. Uh, uh, optional raw audio track. I guess that's without uh music. Well, that's without. Um, that's without condoms. Oh, oh yeah raw dogging it um and behind the scenes featurette and some other stuff so it's it's a special edition um it's called a lunar edition so uh, apparently you think it's <laughs> thumbs up it. too yep you just gave that a big he's thumbs happy up. to see it yeah I, I i don't know it was it wasn't a it wasn't the worst you know of all his you know kind of brotherhood type movies or whatever but it was it it wasn't great you know that was it had its problems um but there was a, a girl in it um blanking on the name offhand there's got to be one um, girl in it to get straight guys oh, deborah <laughs> mayer who's no longer with us but deborah Aww. mayer is so wonderful in this so and last but not <laughs> least oh definitely not least it's my favorite one that i got this uh this time and it's a really bad movie and we're going to be doing it for season eight at some point which is vampires. Oh yeah, I've got that. Yeah, it is <laughs> oh, so yeah. bad. There's this. See, you, then... you know it's urban because it has a Z at the end. See, oh yeah, and then... I have that guy several of his movies. <laughs> yeah, the other one that's most famous that I've heard is even worse than this, which I don't know how you could be worse than this, but it's uh, like wolves. Wolves, you know? uh, yeah, yeah, wolves is worse. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. I would, I would own vampires. You know, yeah. So I, it's bad. I, I mean, once again, these movies I can find on eBay for DVD for like five, five bucks. And when I, you know, when when I do that, it's it's mainly potentially to put it on indie film cafe. Or oh yeah, you know, or whatever. 
and stuff. If we can get back in the fucking studio, we're doing that next week and the next week after that, we're both back in the studio. So it's all which is a good good. segue because my first one is a movie I knew nothing about, but I was in Chesapeake yesterday for my game session and I was a little early, so I stopped off at one of the CHKD um, thrift stores. And I just went in there and it's, you know, those thrift stores tend to be usually like mediocre Hollywood stuff. But for 78 cents, I found Pterodactyl. (laughs) Oh, wow. They want their planet back. Who directed that? Who directed that? I have no idea. Is that that autographed? No, it's the price they they scribbled on there with with something. 79 cents. Yeah. It's, I don't <laughs> know funny. any of these people. I don't even know who pooped this companies that put it out, but it looks bad. I would own that. Yeah, I, I would definitely own that. Looks bad. So I can't. Because you, you know the pterodactyl doesn't look anything like that. You mm-hmm. know, it's just some stock, like, you know, just some bird, you know, just moving. I'm hoping it's a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you're going to be sad then because I bet it's CGI. I have yeah, this feeling probably. because. Because that's just the way people like bird, like days. the birds of bird demic. It's going to look like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. So the next three are from our buddy Ron Bonk and SRS. And we, uh, the one first one is one I showed to my friend Micah last night. He's, he's visiting. So, Micah. Bad CGI shark. Well, is that the Micah we did the video yep. with? Yep. Oh, yep. Yeah, why didn't you call me? We could have done something together he's with here us. all week. Ah. Uh all right. We'll we'll have to I don't I'll have to see if I can make a trek out there. God dang it. Yeah. I love Micah. Micah was on um I, on one of our okay. shows and he was in Dawson's Creek, <laughs> interestingly enough. So he's still he stuff was about uh that. remember yeah. we shot him too. He's one of the dead bodies in that thing that we shot. Yeah, that never will come out because we were shooting that with this the stuff that we did with Joe and then Job tripped and fell had and an oopsie. you know had an oopsie and had to go to the hospital so it was a bad day you know and everything but so yeah use you your know. stunt people that's what they're there for yeah so I, I i accidentally insulted the director of cgi sharks because I, I i bought it i do own it i think i bought it in in some deal that they had and uh i had it out and and they somebody he said something about the film and I go, oh, I heard it's like horribly good. And that it like, you know, I just started insulting it, but in a good way. And then all of a sudden he's like, well, we tried to make a good movie. You know, oh, like, oh, yeah. who, think about like, who that. is this? Yeah. And, and I looked it up and I'm like, oh, shit, he's the director of the movie. It's so tough. then I messaged him going, would you like to do a one filmmaker? Oh, heard? God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not very good. And, interestingly enough. We uh we were doing indie film cafe. We we're doing Snow Shark, and John Johnson got bored during talking about <laughs> Snow Shark. So he started trying to come up with ideas for shark movies and stuff. And he was like, "Why has anybody ever done a movie where it's like like CGI sharks? You know, and you could call it just CGI sharks, you know, and everything." So I looked it up while we were talking, and I go, "Ooh, there's already a movie called Bad CGI Sharks," and he was like. Damn it. Uh, but it led then, to shark, you son of a bitch. I know. So he, then he said, well, we, we should do a movie where like everybody says, you son of a bitch in a bunch of different, you know, scenes or whatever, because that's what every shark movie that parodies Jaws has is, you know, right. you son of a bitch in it. And so it led to shark, you son of a bitch, which is a movie he's still doing. And Paul is in. Um I uh I I got asked but I just never never filmed it the my scene and and stuff and uh Paul was so excited to film his scene so uh yeah uh, it was fun. Go. good going moody yeah it was fun I I hope I get like you know thanks credit or something but if not I'm okay with knowing that that's where it came from it's like Tusk coming from Kevin Smith's podcast you know that came from ours you know mm-hmm. sparks great so- ideas Next one from uh, SRS, House Squatch. House Squatch. Oh, isn't that a, a Squatch in the house, the house Oh, no, that, that's – who is that? Mark is Polonia. that Polonia? Yeah. Okay. Polonia. <laughs> and, um, that's a son, I think, did, did that one. 
I think he did it, <laughs> but he might have helped his son, or his son might have helped. I don't know. It. I did it for first time watch uh, Fridays for our horror film lovers, and honestly, by myself, and honestly, I, I was kind of meh on it. Yeah, yeah. Like it's I, I, I can't, I can't do these movies anymore. I just can't. I've, I've said this a billion mm-hmm. times with you guys. I just, I, I can't, and. It, it's I see people advertise these movies on Facebook and I just I can't buy them anymore. I just I just I cannot sit down and I can't. I'm sorry. I can yeah. when they're cheap. And that's what it was. It was a sale. They were cheap. So I was like, ah, what the hell? I'll get them. Right, right, right. You're not going to buy that for full price of like 20 bucks <laughs> or something, you know. Uh, Same thing with this next one, although I've heard a little bit more about it. This this one was one that I had read about in um, Celluloid Massacre. I don't know if you know that website. Um, he usually talks about stuff that's either really, really bad or really, really extreme. What is it called? Uh, Worldwide Celluloid Massacre. Oh. Um, and this one is both. It's both extreme, but it's also pretty bad. I watched it and it's like uh, pretentious nonsense garbage, but it's kind of fun too. And it's called Dead Butterfly. Oh, that I have. Yeah. You is see, that the one with all this? three? There's three. Yes. Yeah. That's why I picked it up because there's all three films. Because it's all three of them, yeah, and they're all yeah. God, they're just suffering, suffering. I haven't watched any of them. I just picked uh, them up because it's like, oh, three movies. Okay, I'll pick it up. Have you ever seen uh, Begotten, which is uh, another one I have? It's actually a really good movie. That's uh, yeah, it's it, 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 yeah, it's from the director who did oh god the Ben Kingsley film that's really good. Uh, uh, uh Eckhart. Shadow of the Vampire. No, he did Shadow Vampire, and then he did the one. Oh, uh, um, Suspect Zero. Oh, he also yeah, did. Yeah, 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 it's around here somewhere. I know I have it, but yeah, there it is. Begun. Yeah, yeah. So he, he, he. Yeah, it's like they wanted to do that, but can't. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's it's kind of fails and it's kind of bad. So, however, not like this last film which is bad on a much level bigger level because of the of the money that got put into it and it is a dino d horrendous film saw it in the theaters it bombed at the time it got laughed out of the theaters john ward you might have been around long enough to have seen it and it is king kong live oh my god oh i was just thinking king kong oh wow i think it's hard to find it's awesome king kong I, lives is so, so amazingly the only bad. way reason i got this is because somebody like the other side of the country had it at one of their um thrift market things and they were like they didn't know what it was so it was like on sale for two bucks i'm like give me give me give me give me of course <laughs> um so by the way uh i was watching siskel and ebert uh like old siskel and ebert things and they were talking about king kong lives because at that time it was the 80s or whatever episode and they said that uh, they had, I think it was Ebert, who said he had more fun watching the kids swing on a on a uh, on a door than watching the movie. Which the <laughs> kids were having more fun swinging on a door, going back and forth, than they were, you know, actually watching yeah, the movie. This it this is the movie bad. that almost ended Linda Hamilton's career. It's such a shame. It's so. Bad. Her dialogue is so amazing, and then I, I think it's just as bad or just as good as the newest Godzilla King Kong film because in the newest Kong, he has to have a tooth replaced. They they, <laughs> they give which is just like what the fuck does this have to do with the movie? As a it's he so has a funny. he has a cavity that has to be replaced, and, and in King Kong Lives, they have the heart replaced. It's the it's, lady the, lady Kong with the pregnant lady Kong. It's so ridiculous. Well, and the they, the boobs, Dino the De Laurentiis. Kong boobs. It's so awful because it, it, it's like, what is it? Linda Hamilton says, like, we're all primates right before they have sex. And <laughs> and uh, it was Dino De Laurentiis went to Fred Decker and said, I, you know, let's make a movie. And he's like, great. I have a Godzilla script that takes called Godzilla King of Monsters. It takes place in San Francisco and Godzilla. The end of fight takes place on Alcatraz. And Dino's like, no, I want to make a sequel to King Kong. And Fred's like, no, you don't. It's going to be horrible. You need to do Godzilla. <laughs> and guess what film he went with and yeah. what bombed. So yeah. um, Fred Decker was right. Well, I'm glad that Linda Hamilton uh, did uh, Terminator 2, which brought her, I think, back to life and, oh, it did. and everything yeah. like yeah, that. Yeah, because yeah. She, I was just looking at her career 
after that movie and she was in a bunch of like like bombs like Mr. Destiny and other things like that that just were not not the big big money makers that like you know that yeah. was well, we we are definitely going to do this uh for one of our shows because it is um i haven't even seen this since i saw it in the theater and i remember it being incredibly bad and we're, yeah we're, unfortunately we'll i don't it. think it works for indie film cafe but maybe what the um, fuck friday do you know d horrendous you know he was he was independent uh producer so. king kong man i don't know if you can call that an indie film. from lion of the desert to king kong, king kong lives <laughs> i don't know anyway king kong lives um are you uh was that your that's it point? okay it's hard uh, to john that one. yeah okay so these are my second group of five um i was at zia records looking through their bargain bin and for films were like two bucks or whatever. And I saw this and I'm like, wow, this sounds a lot like um, uh, those um, arm. God, kind I'm of blanking on every single one. The tough guy army movies of like the 60s and 70s, uh, um, of like the Green Berets or the oh, uh, yeah. uh, the, the stuff with... Um, In John. Not it. No, it, it's, it's the... The Great Escape, things like that. No, no, not even close. No, it's like Lee Marvin was in was in uh, some of them. Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson would be in them. Yeah, they, and they would be the the group of tough guys. That oh, would all get Dirty together. Dozen. Dirty Dozen. Thank you. The, it's like the Dirty Dozen. So I saw this. And I'm like, God, this looks like the Dirty Dozen. And then I realized it's code red. So I picked it up and it's Zebra Force. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. I have no idea about this at all. I really just picked it up because it was code red. Yeah, it's all right. It's not but that I'm bad. like, yeah, and it's got like a ton of stuff on it. So Does it have good cast or anything? That's uh, a New Zealand thing, I think. If I remember. Anthony Caruso is the only person who I recognize. Hmm. Who I believe was from like Treasure of the Four Crowns and some other stuff. But if I come across these and they're cheap from like these more kind of obscure or boutique companies i pick them up yeah code red i love to get them. their blu-rays because their blu-rays are amazing yeah uh, so yeah. but yeah awesome. so i picked that up um i just interviewed the effects one of the effects artists on this film who worked on the werewolf sequences from this and the werewolf that was used in this film was the werewolf from underworld so they just repurposed it and that is also the director of like Underworld Rise of the Lycans and all of that. So I I got to interview over at Tom Devlin's Monster Museum, this guy that if you nice. if you I if you look at his IMDB, it's it's like this long of just films that he's done the effects on Independence Day and everything. So that's trick or treat. So I figured I've never seen it. If I'm gonna interview him, I need to you know, purchase this and watch it. And it's the Anna Paquin scene when she's turning into the van, uh, turning into the werewolf. Oh, yeah. So he, nice. he brought the, the red head riding with hood. him. Yeah. So it's, um, I think he might even be, uh, but yeah, it's, um, oh God, it's produced by Brian Singer. Um, so I, I picked oh. this up and, and I got trigger Sam. Warning. I, I, trigger warning. Jeez, trigger warning, so everybody. Jeez. Um, and I picked up Sam as a, as a Funko. As nice. a Funko Pop. So I got him. And this is one that uh, Jonathan said, uh, you know what? We, we're going to do this next year. And I went, let me buy it right now. And uh, that's Solo. Mario Solo. And Peoples. So it's just that's going to be on a Hollywood Knockbusters at some point. <gasps> that, yeah. okay, King Kong Lives could work for Hollywood Knockbusters. Oh, yeah. Because that bombed really badly. All sure right, I'll, I'll put that on the list and everything and have you be the special guest for that, Paul. Hey. That's, that's your movie. I want to watch yep. that. We should get like Ramaku or somebody, someone local to watch it with us because guys got to see it. It's it's just so bad. Yeah, we'll we'll find somebody who can appreciate how bad it is. Oh, fuck, I'll do it because I love King Kong lives. What are you guys talking about? I'm right here. Oh, we got to get you out here, man. <laughs> yeah, we want to. Oh, it's a, a oh, it's a studio thing. Well, oh, okay. I mean, we well, he has, I got the he has actually the, have it. He actually has it. So. I don't know if you can if you can watch it, if it streams anywhere. It's hard to find. Yeah. Well, I might did... be able to find it on one of those legal but not legal websites that I use. Oh, your so. sketchy Russian porn site that you like to go to? 
Oh, pretty much, yes. Yes. <laughs> so and by the way, this does say solo works. Mario Van Peebles is terrific. Nice. So right right there from the I San remember, Francisco Chronicle. I remember my friend uh Crystal and I as kids, we went to see that movie in the theater and like there was nobody there when we got in there. And then later there was like one person who showed up and we were like we wanted to have fun and just like make fun of the whole thing the whole time. And they're like, oh, we can't do that now that there's, uh, you know, uh, one other person there, you know. But anyway, it was it was it was fun for me. I, I enjoyed watching it be like action packed kind of silliness. You know, I liked it. So it, it's it, 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 it's a fun film. It's fine. Um, and now this is one that uh, this is a three film collection. And and Jonathan went, oh, God, to one of these. And and that is the Ace Ventura three film collection. Mm. And guess which one he went, oh, God, to the junior. Yeah, <laughs> of course. It's the first two I love. The so, I, yeah, this was Goodwill. And I mean, you really only get it for this. So this is like Godfather, Godfather 2. And this is like Godfather 3. So, you know, it's it's you just kind of. <laughs> So I I, I well, also Godfather watch, three. I also watch. Oh, I, I I I like it too. But it's you don't buy the Godfather collection for part three. You buy it for yeah. one and no. two, and then three is the bonus. Yeah, it's so, term, uh, three is the uh, redheaded me. stepchild. Um, well, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, one and two, and those were uh, like Morgan Creek, and I did a, I like watched a rise and fall of Morgan Creek, like what made them, you know, successful, then what made them like fall and everything, and. Uh, Ace Ventura was actually very successful for them. You know, they were it was shockingly. Uh, uh, oh well, then, yeah, that and the mask made. made yeah, but made I don't him. think that was Morgan Creek. Oh no, no, I'm just saying two I'm films in about, general. I'm talking are, about yeah. Morgan Creek, not just not Morgan Karen. Creek. Yeah, just Morgan oh, gotcha. Creek. Which I'm like, I'm fascinated with studios now. Like, you know, for some reason, I've been just going on these YouTube binges. I'm watching all these how these studios began, what, you know, what made them successful, what films did flopped in the theaters, that kind of thing. Cause I would love to start a studio again, you know, big studio that rivals these movies. And then, but you would have to make something that would sell, you know, obviously. Well, you, you don't know these days what will sell. I mean, right now, Twisters is massive. Yeah. It is a hit. Mm -hmm. And they're saying the whole reason why it's a hit because it's not woke. There, there's nothing in this film and the director is defending this right now is saying that he did not put anything environmental in the movie. It's just a fun disaster movie. And yeah. all of these companies and woke people and to the left and all that stuff are all going, why aren't you bringing up climate change? And this should be in it. And, and he's literally saying, fuck off because I, I made a, a good fun action disaster movie and that's that all did well in the theater you know and, and now it's and, massive it's and huge if people would just see that and and everything but it, it also didn't cost nearly as much as like deadpool and wolverines can you know end up you know what i mean like it doesn't need that much i don't even other than daisy Ed, edgley or whatever her name is you know um who's in the movie edgar Daisy Edgar, something, whatever her name is. I only know her from like a couple projects. She is not a huge star, but she was, she was, I've heard. Wait, good what, things. What, what is she in? She's in Twisters. Oh, okay. She's the main girl in Twisters. <clears throat> oh, you okay. Know? Yeah. And the other guy is the guy from, uh, uh, was it Hit, Top Gun Hit, Maverick? Yeah. Hitman, Top Gun Maverick. Um, yeah. you know, all these things that are, um, uh, that, and that one, the Hitman movie was done by like Rich, uh, Richard Linklater, you know, and stuff. And that wasn't woke at all either. Like that was pretty much a, a uh, you know, a, a movie that doesn't get made today, you know, and stuff. So I'm just happy to see that. But that's what I want to do is I'd want to rival the studios by bringing people things that they just don't get anymore. Um, one of the other studios had Prince of the City and that bombed badly Great. in the box office because they put it in like one theater i heard they like did not put it in a bunch of theaters and they were afraid people weren't going to watch it you know? yeah and they but, thought it was too long and they thought it was too dark and it's a great, great movie film. great fantastic film. 
Best but, thing Treat Williams ever did. But when it went on video, it did very, very well, and people liked it, and it became sort of a cult following. And um, but they just don't know these days. So you're right. Um, I'm just hoping that people would know the one thing to do is to do what everybody else is not doing. Put out like A24. Well, you <clears throat> you, you yeah. stop putting out message films for people because people don't want that. Inside oh. Out too. It, it it did huge because it didn't have that. Right. While all these I mean, other animated films do, like Buzz Lightyear. Yes and had, no. Had I mean, Furioso message. doesn't really have that, and yet it didn't do well in the theaters because, just because of the timing. So I, I I've slightly changed my opinion on Furiosa, but it it came at the tail end of the girl boss movies, and that's its greatest downfall. And it's it's a Mad Max movie without Mad Max. So it's nobody wanted to see a Mad Max movie without Mad Max. Yeah, right. Nobody it's wants cool. to see it's, Mad Max without Mel Gibson. It's understood that it's a prequel, so it's before all that. And so that you, it's actually in there for like 30 seconds. It's just, you know. But it's not even, it's just some guy who's just dressed up as Mad Max. You know, for, uh, for, oh, for, it's him. It's really, really, really him. <laughs> well, okay. So so my, my thing about that is it's true because the girl died. boss movies used to be really big. You know, look at like Resident Evil, look at, um, you know, look at like Underworld. Um, I, I would not call those girl boss movies. I would not. I would say they're pretty girl boss. Girl, girl boss movies are Mary Sue films like Ray in, in, in like Force Awakens where they have no flaws. They're perfect. Well, they, those they are don't need poorly training. written films. Furiosa is not a poorly written film. Furiosa is a very well written film. It, 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 it. It does. I have my issues with the film and and with George Miller. When you look back at his his other Mad Max films, you could kind of see a slight agenda moving forward. But it, it's it is I did. I wanted the film to be longer. I really enjoyed it. I liked it, even though I did have problems with it, with the same probably the same things I had with Fury Road. Uh, but um, it, it's it's good. To me, something like Resident Evil and Underworld were not around when the when the girl boss title came out. Right. It it's it's like you know, saying the um fucking blanking, what is it for slasher films that they say? Like that really bad term when like Saw came out and Hostel, it's a, a torture porn. Yeah. So when they go like, Oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is torture porn. No, it's not. No, the film was made not. in like 1974. No. It's not torture porn. Torture Hos porn is a lot more graphic and gross than those. Well, they just apply it to to anything. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's the same thing with mean. Girl Boss. Is is there you know that you know you can apply it to almost anything when it's not this is closer to torture but, porn. But then but here's the problem then. Because there are some movies that, like you're saying, like Furiosa, which I haven't seen, but I, I imagine she's not a girl boss. You know, she is a she's a, a little, a little, a little yes, a little no. I mean, it, it's it's it's, but that's she's flawed, and she doesn't just win everything or do everything, you know, amazingly. She, you know, it's it's a lot tougher for her, um, but, and it's a lot Ray more didn't realistic. Either. Ray couldn't fight what's his name can I win a fight with uh her brother you know her brother kicked her ass in the lightsaber match she wasn't no, always she... no but he but the, the thing with ray is is that kylo ren trained for like years mm -hmm. she just picked up the lightsaber and she was better than him that's the same thing with she hulk that she hulk that is that better than the hulk the without force? training no because, because guess, according to Kathleen Kennedy, the force is female, so females are better at everything than, yeah. than all the males. Well, I was, I was also going to say then Luke, Luke in the first uh, was it Empire Strikes Back, uh, or actually in the, even in the first Star Wars movie, he was uh, you know training, you know like you know learning how to make sure to you know be able to do everything. Yeah, with the little right, ball right. that was yeah. going around. If they had and, and like then that, in maybe. Empire he was training and then in Jedi he was a Jedi. I mean Vader yeah, even a... points that out. And to become one you basically have to like create your own lightsaber. Because right. you had That's... to be a Jedi in order to fight the fuzzy little puppets so they could sell to the children. That's right. So all right it, anyway it's... like yeah yeah I well it. I got one left. So okay. um, That's what I thought. Okay, and this goes to back to, I picked this up because it, it's first season. I did watch one episode a long time ago and I've wanted to watch this since, but it's The Strain. I've heard of yeah, it, I've yeah. I've heard that's good, yeah. 
Yeah, I think I, I, I tried watching like the pilot and just uh, I just didn't I didn't end up watching the rest of it. I I mean I, I didn't know what it was when I first I thought it was a virus that was going around, but it's actually a like a vampiric or vampire virus. Nice. And, and so uh, now I do want to uh, uh, check it out. So because I, I have heard it's good. Hmm. But yeah, I just haven't. Um, Vampire. That sounds like a great title. Vampires. Vamp- Vampires. Vampires. Vampire virus. Vampires. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that's that's all of mine. So I, I, I can see Dustin uh, Ferguson writing it down as we speak because, you know, he listens to our shows and steals all our ideas. <laughs> he certainly doesn't listen to mine because he blocked me 11 days after i got my new account right, so. he's blocked both of you he's not blocked me uh, <laughs> yeah he blocked me because i disagreed with him on something um but you know he tried to steal his idea for vampires this, this, this is how dumb the guy is we're not friends but i would still buy his stuff through the web through like his website and you see will actually be through kanaki and kanaki will say who's buying it. So for me, I think it comes up probably as Dark Park Films. So he knows I'm buying his stuff. I'm spending money on his stuff. But it's better to block me and not take my money because we don't get along than just not blocking me and we just ignore each other and I give him money. Right. Yeah, that, that that's a good businessman. So, fucking idiot. All right, anyway... Oh, that's a good way to end it. Um, Clown so, ass. <laughs> but don't you love clowns? I do. I heard clowns. I just don't no. like clown ass. <laughs> or ass clowns. But I do like clowns. Ass clowns. Hey, and I was all naked over here, but then Moody said, oh, you gotta put your clowns on. I think we should do an entire episode naked. No, nope, no. Nope. I don't even want people seeing me like without a shirt on. I'm you know, no, like, well, case, then don't put your insecurities on Paul. I mean, I if, put my if, insecurities if he wants to on be naked, you know, no. let him be naked. Sorry, Paul, but you know, I don't know. I I don't want to break the internet, man, because it'll be too but awesome. Everybody wants to see, everybody will want to see it, and it'll just break the internet. Like, go viral, you know. it'd be malicious. All right, so we are we are wrapped on this. Uh, thank you guys for checking this out. Um, we're gonna have a quick update in a little while too so check those out and uh and whatnot and we will be back uh in a couple weeks like or a couple months for a brand new haul video until then everybody bye, bye.